I'm meteorologist Mark Van Cuso, and on this day in weather history, the blizzard of 1966 dumped eight feet of snow in Syracuse, New York, between January 27th and the 31st. The intensity and widespread coverage of the storm was an utter disaster. It began as a nor'easter, which hit New York City, and was followed by heavy wraparound lake effect snows. Warnings were issued on Saturday the 29th, but no one anticipated the three plus feet of snow that fell over 36 hour period. Winds gusted from 60 to 100 miles per hour. It was white everywhere. Syracuse received a record snowfall of 42.3 inches. It was even deeper in Oswego. A total of 103 inches was recorded, 50 of it falling on the last day of the storm alone. The weight of the snow was too much for some buildings. This is the west end of Sears in Fairmont Fair Mall. Helicopters were used to get supplies to isolated areas, and bulldozers were used to clear the way for emergency crews. Unlike today, people didn't have all-wheel drive vehicles or snowmobiles, and it was a much slower process of getting the plows out. Schools were closed for a week, and it was four or five days before most of the major streets were drivable. Salina Street had over 20 feet of snow on it. The only way to remove it was to pick it up and carry it away. The blizzard of 66 is to date the most famous blizzard to hit the Syracuse area and held the record for the most snowfall in a single storm until the lake effect snowstorm of February 2007. I'm Mark Mancuso.